Well, I think in a, in a group like this and with an environment like this, you not only learn, but you're exposed to people who are doing things that you don't know a lot about. I was in a conversation earlier on AI, and I asked a question I'm not sure anybody else thought about, which I said, why don't we call artificial intelligence artificial wisdom? Because I think, you know, that's, there's a difference to me between wisdom and intelligence, but I had an opportunity that just, that just came out of my head, probably because I was stimulated by the people there and the way they were talking about things, who were mainly technologists. Uh, and that's not my background. So I think the cross-pollinization in an event like this, you know, you, you sort of get stunned by everything when you're here, and then it really sinks in and, and it grows within you as you go forward. A lifelong journalist, and uh, one of the things we've done at the Center for Investigative Reporting in the 10 years I've been there is, is grow tremendously, but really innovate around storytelling. So that if you think about a wheel, and if you think of the center of the wheel, we created an organization where the center of the wheel is a story. And think of a spoke of a wheel, and every spoke is a new way and a different way to tell a story. So we really embraced technology as it evolved, and this, we started this around 2008, and we've told stories on every conceivable platform, but the unique thing about it is these are deeply reported, fact-based stories. It's investigative reporting. So our goal is to serve democracy by doing stories that truly make a difference in a nonpartisan way.